Apple snuck out a meaty new update for GarageBand on Mac yesterday, featuring literally thousands of new loops, hundreds of new instruments, and dozens of new drum kits. As if that wasn't enough, they've also added a few new features, one of which I can almost guarantee will change the way that you use GarageBand. It's mental, let's dive in. A few months ago, Apple released the biggest update in the history of updates to GarageBand for iOS, featuring eight producer packs from some of the biggest artists and producers in the world, and two remix sessions featuring songs from Lady Gaga and Dua Lipa. It was madness, and it's really hard to believe that Apple dropped so much content all at the same time. The only downside GarageBand for Mac users and Logic users couldn't get access to these sounds. Well, I'm happy to report that with the latest update, version 10.4.4, GarageBand for Mac users now have access to all of that lovely, juicy content. So you can look forward to getting to grips with eight completely royalty-free, I might add, producer packs from the likes of Boys Noise, Mark Letteri, Mark Ronson, Oak Felder, Selection, Take a Day Trip, Tom Mish, and Track Girl. I reviewed all of these packs when they released on iOS a few months ago, and all of the sounds and instruments that come with them are absolutely fantastic and surprisingly diverse genre wise. Standouts for me include the jazz sounds that come with Tom Mish's pack. Oak Felder's quirky array of loops and instruments. Mark Letteri's all guitar focused loops. Having said that, there isn't really a bad pack in this collection. There really is something for everyone here. So I implore you to cancel those plans and hold yourself up in your studio slash music making cave and get stuck in. Now there are a few features missing from these producer packs. GarageBand for Mac has no live loops feature, so the live loop grids that we got in the iOS versions of these packs are absent, obviously. Also absent are the wee intro videos each of the artists have in the GarageBand for iOS sound library. I know they don't sound essential, but they really helped give a sense of the personality of the artists and gave an idea of what went into the creation of their packs. Only thing you have to have to be a record producer is vision. Vision. Creativity. Sitting in a room going, I have an idea. That's it. It's not just eight producer packs that you're getting access to in this update. Oh no. Three previously iOS only sound packs are now available for use as well. Again, I covered these when they launched on iOS and found them to be a bit of a mixed bag. Ultimate 808s allows you to add thunderous low end to your beats with a collection of earth shaking 808 basses and electronic drum sounds. The Backlight Bound Slap House Pack lets you light up the dance floor with a collection of slick, neon-drenched loops 
and instruments inspired by the futuristic sounds of Slap House. And finally, the fantastic Alpha Waves modern ambient pack that urges you to immerse yourself in a sonic dreamscape of ambient sounds and textures designed to add depth and dimension to your tracks. As I said, these are a wee bit of a mixed bag. Ultimate 808s, for example, is very situational. Though if you make the kind of music that calls for big old 808 sounds, you'll no doubt like what's on offer in this pack. Same goes for Backlight Bounce. The sounds as are per usual for Apple's sound pack content, very high quality, but won't be useful for everyone. The Alpha Waves pack though, it's really something else. By far my favourite pack that's been released in a long time, the instrument patches here are incredible, and it's one of my absolute favourite packs ever. So glad to finally see it available for Mac users. There have been a bunch of bug fixy and quality of life improvements added in this update as well. You can dig through them all at Apple's GarageBand release notes page. I'll put a link to that down in the description. The biggest quality of life improvement added in GarageBand 10.4.4 is amazing, like genuinely amazing. In pretty much all previous versions of GarageBand, you're able to narrow down what type of loops were displayed in the loop browser by using the loop browser's filtering options. You can, for example, only select from loops from the Prismatica sound pack by using the browser's filtering options. Software instruments, on the other hand, were all just lumped in together with no way for users to browse patches from specific sound packs. You could only look through very broad instrument types. It sucked. Well, rejoice, friends, software instruments can now be filtered by sound pack name in the patch library. I cannot stress enough how big a deal this is. GarageBand's software instrument library just keeps growing and growing, and it was becoming a real chore having to search through bloody menu after bloody menu to find specific sounds. This edition is going to make my music making life a whole lot easier, and I'm pretty sure it's going to make yours easier too. Great job, Apple. This is yet another really, really good update to GarageBand for Mac. And I like that we didn't have to wait quite as long as we did last time for those amazing iOS sounds to make it across to the Mac platform. Enjoy. For more info on the sounds included in this update, check out this playlist where I take a deep dive into each of those shiny new producer packs. See you next time. <laughs>